everybody and welcome to this week's nostalgic friday now today we are going back in time to the year 2010 where a lot of you know cartoon network shows you know you know were came on and were so good but some well all of them some of them well that you know involved action didn't well last long <sighs> yeah now I'm sure we all remember that one era of Cartoon Network where a lot of shows came and went. Like, a lot of, like, action, you know, cartoons, you know, from that time. I'm, which, you know, weren't so successful. Except for Ben 10, because, you know, that was pretty much the only, well, show to ever stay on longer. Because it had, like, because it had, like, you know, had, like, because it had, like, what, three sequels? And then, uh, and then years later we got a reboot? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah, now, now, I figured I wanted to do this because I don't really talk about Cartoon Network much, much except for that one time, or maybe the few other times I brought it up, so yeah, so I'm gonna be talking about the shows that obviously didn't survive, you know, the, the you know, the, you know, the 2010 era of Cartoon Network. Although, they may have still gained a little bit of popularity, even if they're canceled. And some people are begging them, and some people are begging for them to come back. Maybe one day. Also, some of these shows I may have mentioned in my, um, you know, cart in my cartoons that ended too soon video. So, yeah, now, I won't, I won't talk, I won't talk about the reason why they got canceled, because, you know, I already did, so, yeah. Also, since I'm talking about Cartoon Network, I will not be including Legend of Korra, because I know that show also came out in 2010, and around the 2010 era, and it, and I know for a fact it didn't really do well, but it didn't get cancelled, and instead Nickelodeon moved it to its website, which I'm sure a lot of people weren't too happy about, but eh, I didn't, but by the time it was on, I didn't really watch it, because I didn't really care, so, yeah. Now the first show I want to talk about, now this is the first, now this was, this I also brought up in my cartoons that ended too soon video, Thundercats. And no, not Thundercats Roar, I meant, I mean the 2011 one that didn't even last long, like only lasted like what, one season? Pfft. Yeah, I will say, now I, now as I probably said in my, uh, you know, cartoons that ended too soon video, I... I mentioned that I haven't seen this, uh, seen this. I haven't seen a single episode of, that sh of this show. Although some of the ones I may, br I brought, I'm bringing, I'm gonna bring up on here, I have actually seen. Although I didn't watch much of them. I mean, cause you know, I was a dumb random kid who didn't really care what the heck was on TV at the time. And I watched whatever the heck was on, which I'm sure I'm not the only one who did. So yeah, although, you know, you know, when I looked at the, although I have to say, looking at the, seeing the promos, I'm like, mm, so a show about cats, huh? Well then, uh, well then again, I, I didn't know it was a reboot of like, you know, an, a show from the 80s, so, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, so, <sighs> let's move on. Okay, next show on here that I think has... Well, that left only three seasons, and yet some people still remember it, even though it's barely talked about most of the time. And some people say it was awesome. Awesome. Was Generator Rex. Now, this one, now, I did watch this one. And I wasn't a, didn't become a fan of it, though, because, you know, was a kid, didn't care what the heck was on. Just watched it for the heck of it. Although, funny story. When... When, it, when Cartoon Network first was promoting this show, I remember thinking, wait, like, wait, why does this remind me of Ben 10 for some reason? Yeah, yeah, basically, like, the whole time I saw those promos, I'm like, this, that, the whole time I, I saw this, I'm like, Ben 10, why does this remind me of Ben 10? Like, it, like, Ben 10 was the first thing that popped into my head when I saw the, when I saw promos for this show. I'm like, what the heck? But luckily, I learned later on that the reason why they, it remind, they look so similar to me was because, or, well, maybe kind of similar to me. I'm, I'm not quite sure. 
or was because because they were created by the same people you know man of action i'm sure you heard of them well i didn't know who the heck they were around that time until i learned until i started watching reviews later on so yeah and they kept but i'm pretty sure that could also explain that crossover they had later on yeah um yeah I'm sure you probably, I'm sure some of you who probably watch both know, know about the crossover. Well, I didn't until Watch Mojo brought up in their top 10 cartoon crossovers list. Like, that was literally the first time I've heard about it. Like, like, I literally don't remember seeing any promos for that, for that. Well, although I think around the time that came out, I think I was watching less TV and going more on YouTube more often because, you know. Also, I think I was kind of entering my phase where I thought, yeah, girl, yeah, these shows are for boys, not for me. Me, I'm a girl. But then again, I mean, I got, I think around that time I also got into the brony fandom. So, yeah, I don't really know what the heck was up with me at the time. So, yeah. Okay, next on our list is a show that only lasted one season and, from what I heard, people are demanding back. And... I don't know what I think about this show, because looking back, I kind of don't really know how I felt about it. But, yeah, I mean, I know some people found it awesome, but to me, I'm like, um, okay. Although, watching reviews, I can see how dark the show was at times. Although, then again, I was a younger kid and it went over my head. And that show is Symbionic Titan. Now, I know for a fact that, I guess, that it's on Netflix, but I never really wanted to bother watching it, because, eh, again, I didn't care for it too much as a kid, but yet watched it anyway, because I was a kid, didn't care, yeah, I was a kid, I didn't care, oh, so, yeah, but yeah, but I guess later on, on, I mean, I wasn't really aware of its cancellation until, like, maybe, you know, someone, like, till someone, till it got, like, till I, Kept seeing it in, like, some videos of top 10 cartoons people want back. In fact, to any of you fans who like that show, here's what I recommend. Why don't you do what us Danny Phantom fans are doing? I mean, come on, we have a hashtag called hashtag going ghost again. Why not, you know, create your own hashtag? Or, you know, do also maybe bug the people at Cartoon Network. So, yeah. Or check out the show on Netflix. Although, I think it might have, although I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure the show's gonna be off. Gonna get off Netflix soon, I think. Or, you know, just just do whatever it is you're doing. Like, I don't know, make fan art. Sh you know, show your appreciation for the show. I mean, just do like what you would do if you find the show awesome. As for me, yeah. Just do whatever you want. Okay, this next one now, um, um, I don't quite know if uh, this was in 2010. Maybe it was, but it only lasted like two seasons. So, and it was pretty much an action cartoon. So, I think it counts. This next show is well, uh, The Secret Saturdays. Now, um, I do have uh, now like uh, like some of the other shows on here. I did watch it. I mean, although I didn't really, although again, again, didn't really care too much about it. So, yeah. But, well, but, well, I will say one thing, one thing that's kind of funny. So, uh, one time when, uh, I guess I was watching it, like, for some reason when I watched it, I always thought of it as, like, some sort of, you know, like, some sort of, like, you know, like, like, I kind of saw, somehow saw it as kind of like The Incredibles, even though it kind of looked nothing similar to The Incredibles, but I don't know. I, I, I just did for some reason. In fact, I even remember one time when I was watching it, I'm, I said to my mom, you know, the show looks just like The Incredibles. And my mom actually took one look at the TV and she said, yeah, kind of. I I don't really know what the heck I was thinking, but eh. Hey, I mean, I can't be the only one who thought that. Did I? Please, please say, say I wasn't alone in this. Okay, very last show. And again, another I brought up in my cartoons that ended too soon video. Young Justice. Now, um, again, I, now again, like I mentioned in my cartoons that aired, 
that ended too soon, you know, video. I, I mentioned, I mentioned that there's a revival on, like, I guess DC Universe, I think it's called, on, you know, that streaming platform, form where they have that, you know, Harley Quinn show on there. So, um, I must say, it's, um, I must say, well, it was a pretty okay show, in my opinion. I mean, I didn't, I mean, I mean, I I never became a fan of Mar of DC or or possibly any superhero. Well, although I do I do kind of like you know the female superheroes. Like like they're the only ones I care about. Like you know I mean yeah the guys are cool and all, but come on why can't the women superheroes have more love? I mean really. So yeah, so yeah I mean. I mean, every time I kind of look at it, I'm like, you know what? It was a pretty good show. I mean, I, I just don't, I just didn't see myself becoming a fan. And, but yeah, yeah, not, not bad, not, but, eh, not too into it. But, hey, what you gotta do? Also, can you believe the, the dumbest reason for it to get canceled was because it, the toys, toy sales weren't going up? Like, literally. Oh, I can even say the same thing about Symbionic Titan. Because, because the reason was, the reason why the show got canceled was because there was no toy sales for it. Like, ugh. I tell you, Cartoon Network nowadays cares way too much about money. Like, literally. Literally. And that's not to mention, you know, other things. Like, you know, like how they're in their, in a big reboot phase. Like, <sighs> Like, literally. Although, although some of the reboots I wouldn't really care about, but I'll only care if, if the reboot had, if the reboots, you know, feature a voice actor I like, and the voice actor I know is not involved, like, here, I'll give you, like, how come, like, here, Cartoon Network, I like to, I want to know, how come you decided to not cast Tara along with Kathy Kennedy and E.G. Daly for for the Powerpuff Girls reboot, but of course you instead decide to get Tara for the Ben 10 reboot. I really like your explanation right now because I don't like that. Like that. I don't like it when voice actors I mean I like get replaced. <sighs> yeah. So anyways, that's all I gotta say for now. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.